Hello and welcome to today's tips and tricks. My name is Rick Kramer and today I'm going to show you how to use Bluebeam uh, more efficiently in your workflow. In today's exercise I'm going to show you how to generate page labels on this document and use hyperlinks. So in this case I have a drawing that I've received from an engineer or an architect and it's a single file multi-page PDF. When I receive the file each one of the labels has not been set correctly. So I'm going to show you a very easy way to go through and establish the labels and then go through and start to link using hyperlinks um, information that is caught in one drawing such as these section marks over here and have it be able to be hyperlinked or be able to click on it so it jumps over to another drawing. I'm going to show you how to do both of those right now. So first, what we're going to do is go to Document, and then over here, select Create Page Labels. I'm going to select Create Page Labels, and what I'm going to do is select Page Region. Now, the reason why I'm going to select Page Region is I'm going to establish a location on the drawing itself to say this is exactly what I want to fill in for the page label. I'm going to select Select, and then zoom in over here on the sheet number. Then I'll add, I'm going to go dash and then click on add. So I can then also include the name of the drawing. So this will have two regions. The first one will have the page number and then the second one will be the name of the page. I'll simply click OK apply it to all the pages and simply click OK. Now notice what happens here on my screen once I do this. I'm going to run it and just like that it went through automatically and identified all of my sheets. How easy was that? Take a look. A01, A01, main floor, main floor. This saved me a lot of time. Imagine doing this for hundreds of pages. Wow, just such a wonderful time saver. Next, we want to go through and start to have Bluebeam scan the documents and connect the pages that have links. In other words, anything that has a hyperlink that should be connected. To do that, we're going to go over here and go to Link. And I'm going to select a new link under Batch. Over here, I'm going to add the open files, the files that I'm currently working on, and select Next. If I didn't have this drawing open, I can select additional files, but in this case, I'm just going to use the file that I have open. I'll select Next. And over here, I have different ways to do the batch link. My preferred method over here is using the page region just as before. I'm going to click on Select. Window around the page number itself. Click OK. And then basically at this point, I can check my settings. And if I want to apply a filter, I can apply a filter. I'll click on generate. This will give me a list of all of the things that it found. Sounds good. Now all I have to do is simply click on run. That's it. That's all I need to do. I can sit back, relax, and then come back in a minute or two once it's done. Over here, it told me that 75 hyperlinks were created. I'm going to go ahead and finish and close, and let's see how this works. If I go back into my drawing now, I have hyperlinks. I went through ahead of time, by the way, and changed my preferences so it highlights it in blue. By clicking on this object right here, it'll hyperlink to A05. Let's see that again. I'm going to go yet to another one over here that it found automatically. I'll go ahead and click on it and it takes me right to A05. So any time you have the opportunity to link pages, you have that ability to do that smartly using Bluebeam. I hope you enjoyed today's session. My name is Rick Kramer and as always, keep working harder. No, keep working smarter, not harder. Take care. Bye now.